music supervision is a is a big is a big question mark um and i think it's important to kind of just take a second and th think about how music gets valuable because for sync licensing uh, if if a song's valuable it touches so many things it touches the songs we choose it touches music replacement it affects budgeting it affects you know the expectation of filmmakers um so this this is how we think reward works we think that there's reward on the left and quality of the thing done on the on the right mm -hmm. um and this is how newbies think um where we say okay i don't want to write a terrible song down here in the quadrant of death the bottom left <laughs> all right um i want to write the best song ever and mm -hmm. we think like then that will trigger the reward piece of it mm -hmm. uh, we want it to be great right and yeah. and that's that's a natural thing like we want to do good work right nobody wants to suck all right um, but that's a little uh incomplete and a little bit um incorrect and, and the better way to think about it is how reward actually works so we have reward on the left and then we have mm -hmm. people impacted on the bottom um so we have writing a song that one person hears in the quadrant of death and then up here we have a writing a song that a billion people hear mm -hmm. and at that point that's where how reward you usually works in the in the songwriting space um so when we when we license music 80 percent of it is well-known songs like this week we're working on the carpenters we're working on a fugazi project we're working on justin timberlake um those are the songs that a billion people have heard and they're attached to and they're valuable um in a real way so this is kind of can be a bitter pill for indie artists um or it can be an opportunity and we could talk mm -hmm. about that here but um it's the impact of a song is known it's tethered to their experience and their memory it's tied to time and culture so that's that's an important piece of of why why a song gets licensed for two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars you know and then we have indie artists who get licensed for eight hundred dollars right um, and there's nothing nothing wrong with either of those but you kind of have to know your place in the food chain mm -hmm. um so here we have like Brent, here's the majors. They're kind of <laughs> modeled after boardwalk and park place. Yeah. Their, their speed is slow, but their price is way up there mm -hmm. where we, where we have minors, they're professionals and their speed is quick, but their price is a little lower cause they're a little less, the content's a little less known. Mm -hmm. and then we have indie artists that are scattered all over the place. Um, they're usually fast to license. So the price reduces considerably for that mm -hmm. and then at the bottom we have library music royalty free stuff where it's all you can eat buffet you know it's fast it's 10 bucks a month and you can use anything you want um, mm -hmm. so it's really important to really kind of own where you are in mm -hmm. the food chain and kind of be where you are um, and know kind of your opportunities and how you think because each one of these think totally different yeah. um, so, um, so I'm curious about what makes uh, the majors a little slow on Park Place there. Is it just because, yeah. hey, we're dealing with Elvis catalog here or Beatles, and so we're going to be careful about protecting that brand about where it goes. So Everything. we're not going to rush Absolutely. right out, yeah. right? That kind of thing? It's that kind of thing. Or are there are a lot of stakeholders in it that you have to get licensing they, from? They also have to go to the family estate and get their mm -hmm. approval. Mm -hmm. So they're like order takers, right? When we working on Justin Timberlake, they have to go to Justin. So we have to sell not only the publishers and the labels, we also have to sell the artist mm -hmm. on the thing. Um, and also there's, you know, they're holding out for that Super Bowl ad. They don't yeah. want to cannibalize the use. So we're working on a super, a um, Subaru spot in the Northeast. And you know, it's about a half, quarter of the U S maybe.